Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And almost three years back, I had made a video in my initial days on a secret link between our teeth and our wealth. All right. And many of you liked that video and you had requested me to make part two of that second version sequel. So here you go. The video is out here. And today we shall discuss how food is very, very, very crucially linked with wealth. Okay. And therefore, uh, the Vedic scriptures always advise us that we should uh, be very careful of what we put inside, right? Otherwise, this can <clears throat> it can create uh, mayhem inside, okay? Because uh, our body is our body and mind both is the product of the food that we put in, okay? And food doesn't mean here just uh, the physical thing which we eat. It also means what we put inside our eyes, our nose and our ears especially. So therefore, this is very crucial because the uh, second house is the house of uh, food and it's the house of family and it's also the house of uh, sanchiddhan as they say, savings basically. And the sixth house and the tenth house, these are houses of work and uh, wealth or name, fame, whatever you could call it, okay. So these three houses are in trines to each other. Okay. So therefore, we shall discuss today uh, just related how just how food is related to these houses. Okay. Because these this is the Artha Trikon. Okay. This is two, six, and ten. All right. So therefore, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And uh, many of you have uh, followed my Instagram page also. If you have not done it yet, then please do it. Exotic underscore astrology. I have uh, very beautiful quizzes there about uh, our Vedic culture. Okay. And many people have liked. Okay. So what is second house? Second house represents input. Whatever you put inside, whatever it is. <laughs> so if you're talking to somebody and that person is speaking nonsense, that's also second house because... <clears throat> Anything that you uh, put inside will directly affect your 8th house. What is the 8th house? 8th house is the house of uh, depression and unhappiness basically. 8th house in one word is unhappiness. Okay. So uh, depending on what you put inside, it will be decided how much you are happy or how much you are unhappy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because 8th house... Uh, when linked with certain plants and certain houses can give you depression and that can give you suicidal thoughts okay or too much anxiety sometimes if it's related with the 12th house well the thing is what decides what will happen to the eighth house that's the second house which is directly the opposite okay so if your second house is good then your eighth house will by default not be able to trouble you the eighth house will not torment you Instead, the 8th house will behave as if it is good for you. How does the 8th house behave as if it's good? What the 8th house does is it gives you a lot of uh, deep thinking and contemplation. So when, when you are depressed, depression is also basically too much negative contemplation, right? So contemplation can be positive also. So that happens when the second house is good. And who is the karak for the second house? It is Jupiter. And Jupiter also is the significator of the years, okay? Uh, or you could say what you hear basically, Gyan, okay, which the Guru gives you. So therefore, whatever it is, material or spiritual, we should always hear good things and we should always eat good food, okay? Fresh, fresh food, freshly cooked food. We should not eat all this uh, meat and garbage and all this trash, fast food and all this. If you are eating all this, then 8th house turns into the house of chronic diseases. 6th house is disease, 8th house is chronic disease. Okay, So, and therefore, even, even many people, they are eating uh, vegetarian food, but they are eating too much of this, you know, uh, too many carbohydrates or too many fried foods or too, many, too much sugar, too much sweet and all this. This is, this is actually, again, a very big contributor to depression, okay? Because when you are eating too much sugar, then after some time, your blood sugar will go down because of uh, insulin. And then suddenly you will feel very low, you will feel moody, you will feel depressed, you will not feel happy basically. Okay. Then uh, if, if, if your second house is not good, then uh, your sixth house gets affected because sixth house is the house of 
daily work and it's the house of health and disease actually it's the house of disease it is health or i would say it is maintenance of one's health okay so therefore if your food is not good then it's by default that your health won't be good okay because the sixth house gets affected because the sixth is the uh, fifth from the second so uh, fifth house shows the future actually future means uh, what what will happen after this so if if there's a problem in the second house your problem will go to the sixth house okay so therefore if there's a problem in your sixth house then you must check the second house because the ninth house shows the origin like which who 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 is your uh, like uh, the ninth house in general from the ascendant shows the father the father gives the semen which is the cause of our origin therefore ninth from every house is the cause or is like the father of that house okay so therefore if you really uh, feel that you are always diseased or sixth house also shows your daily work so sometimes people say that they are not focused during their office hours you know they are um, they are feeling very lazy they are feeling down they are feeling very depressed you know they are not feeling like as if they can work which in turn uh, affects your 10th house because 10th house is the future of the 6th house to the degree you work with sincerity and hard work and efforts to that degree you get success in life okay of course, hard work alone is not enough. Karma is there. So whatever success is there in your karma, that will, you will get fame or defame, whatever. But you have to put hard work. No, I mean, you, you have to work hard. There's no success. There's no shortcut to success. Okay. Yeah, you may say I will do smart work, but you still have to do work. You cannot just be lazy and sit without doing nothing. So therefore, if you are uh, if you are eating too much uh, sugar in the morning okay then your whole day will go bad actually your mood will be very low you will feel pathetic actually so therefore uh, you should try to eat more vegetables during morning okay you should not uh, eat, drink all this uh, coca cola or you know coffee caffeine and all these things that's very detrimental actually because then your days starting of the day is bad actually and uh, then what happens is your uh, whole day gets bad your afternoon is bad your evening is bad your night is bad and now coming to teeth the first video was of teeth so if your teeth is bad then what happens now you may feel oh this is uh, when, i mean this everybody knows well, why do you need to say but let me tell you if your teeth is not good then your experience of eating won't be good and you teeth doesn't mean the teeth itself okay it also means the act of chewing so so suppose if you are eating something then th therefore in vedic culture it's recommended that when you are eating something you do not talk no talking nothing doing eating means eating these days there's multi-processing you know you are just going on talking with somebody aha bolo 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 and they are going on eating 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 so it doesn't work like that because uh, if you are talking and then eating it, it, it gets very complicated for the body actually so then what happens your energy is more towards talking so then you do not focus on chewing the food properly so if you are not chewing the food then that will go to the sixth house and in a bad shape which shows your intestines okay and all the absorption happens in the intestines okay now whatever it is long or short that's long intestines short intestines that's different but all the nutrients and minerals they are absorbed from the intestines okay so therefore if your uh, intestines are not able to absorb then why why do you feel tired why do you feel lazy why do you feel bored even after you eat have you ever asked this question this is because your body is not able to absorb the food the nutrients the minerals from that food which you are eating why that is happening because uh, either you are eating too many wrong foods you know wrong choice of foods like you are eating meat so meat goes and it gets stuck there in the intestines you know, and it takes a hell lot of effort for the body to throw it out 
and then if you're eating too much of all this you know too too many carbohydrates or too many fried foods i have seen especially uh, people i have seen they are eating too much pizza or you know this uh, the fried things basically you know if you're frying too much in oil and oil itself is very dangerous and that's why uh, ayurveda always recommends you should take ghee so therefore in my case, from last uh, one year almost, I completely shifted to ghee. I do not take oil anywhere. Now, if I go to my office, then in worst case, if I do not get time to cook my food here in my home, then I take the office food, but that's like very rarely. But when I'm cooking in my home, I'm always using ghee. Okay? Ghee is, uh, I mean, it's difficult to translate in English, but in English, they call it as clarified butter which is not exactly ghee but something like ghee <laughs> okay so uh, ghee has a lot of uh, healthy fats and a lot of uh, good things which the body uh, which helps the body actually okay so therefore and also the cooking should be done in low heat because if you are cooking in very high heat then the minerals and the vitamins they get destroyed actually okay and uh you should never deep fry anything and worst case you should only shallow fry basic okay so therefore uh, cook your food in low heat okay stop eating meat stop eating all this crap you know, all this you know like in europe i see they're eating this donuts or cakes and all this in india my god needless to say you know there's this it's like a world of uh, fried items <laughs> So even if you are eating and you are not having control, then you should have it very, I mean, very less. Okay, I mean, once in a week, that's all. When I used to stay in my ashram in Chennai, uh, my uh, Shiksha Guru used to say, sweet once in a week, that's all. So anybody who is taking sweet more than once in a week, uh, that person will not be able to retain uh, their sexual energy. Okay, and they will start running behind members of the opposite sex. Okay. Men are uh, men will run behind women and women will run behind men. This is what will happen if you are eating too much too much sugar because uh, that will actually damage your mental health also. Okay, so therefore, chew your food properly. If you have some problem in your teeth, then clear it. Go to the dentist and get it clear. Okay. Now somebody asked me, "Oh, will I become a billionaire if I?" Uh, cure my teeth you'll become a billionaire yes depending on your karma so if your karma says you will uh, earn in millions then within millionaires you will feel like a billionaire <laughs> okay but uh, if your teeth is not good then uh, and this is how it will manifest astrology is very scientific it is not just some stupid rules oh you do this that will happen no it's not like that everything is dependent on every other house so improve the second house then your body will be grind your food properly then you chew, chew it and then you gulp it down and then uh, let it go and then the intestines can uh, absorb the nutrients properly okay your food can digest if you are not chewing properly and then you are putting it inside then how will your stomach digest your stomach acid will be in a perplexity what to do <laughs> and that will create a lot of indigestion so indigestion is terrible because not only it prevents, uh, not only it will not let you absorb uh, your uh, nutrients from the food, it will also create inflammation later on, okay? which is like the root cause of all problems. You will start having bone pain, uh, your, uh, your wounds will not heal, all these crappy things will happen. Do you want all this to happen? All right? Nobody likes. So cook your food in ghee or butter is also a very good alternative. And then uh, you can, you must cook it in low, low flame, okay, not high flame. It's very dangerous, especially some cuisines I know. I won't take name because the people may feel offended. Uh, but that's not the point here. Some cooking uh, places I know they cook with very high oil or very high heat, okay. And especially food in restaurants and all this, you know, they will cook it and put it for one month, two months. It's very dangerous actually, okay. So therefore have a good health eat good food and then you will be able to work better and then that is how the future of work which is the 10th house which is the house of name fame power position money wealth prestige whatever you call it 
that will happen okay so many times people are obsessed with 10th house oh how will i get name fame what should i do just by shifting from uh, hotel management to youtube or it to uh, you know mba people do btech and then they do mba so they think oh just by shifting my domain everything will change no it doesn't work like that okay so give up eating meat completely give up eating all these sugary products and give up eating all this you know fried products it's very dangerous actually okay if you are eating the once in a week that's different not i'm not talking about meat meat is like no compromise completely out of the equation okay but other things if they are too much rajasik then better you eat once in a week okay and you should also avoid this red chili powder it's very dangerous okay i also uh, try to avoid it 99% of the times even if i put i just uh, put it a pinch not more than that all right so if you do not take care of the second house the sixth house will be very bad your whole day will go bad you will feel very weak and you can't work and then you cannot expect promotions which is the 10th house and then you won't get an appraisal all right so there you go bad food bad day bad work no money <laughs> all right thank you very much for your patience and if you're new then please subscribe to it and if you watch you want to watch some other videos on jupiter i'll put it here okay what is the video all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you want a consultation from me please go down to the website below okay thank you very much